Let's talk about Zach Steffen, who has come out here in the last day or two speaking about his omission from the World Cup roster. He had touched upon a few things, obviously being upset, being sad, disappointed, all normal human emotions, as all of us have been through these situations before, being left off for, for various reasons and how devastating that can be, uh, shocked and heartbroken, uh, other, other words he used. But I thought what was interesting is he asked out of the September camps due to some what he said and phrased as mental health. And, and I, I, I wish there would have been more exploration there because I think that is something that needs to be talked about a lot. It still feels like when, when you say mental health, I get the sense that it's that guy's soft or, you know, and I actually think that there it takes a lot of courage to come up and say, hey, I'm just not feeling the way that I usually feel when I need to at a key moments and, and whatever. And so I wish, I wish they would have explored that a little bit more because that's fascinating to me because, uh, but he asked out of the September friendlies against Japan and Saudi Arabia because of some issues. And I think there was some family stuff going on and, and obviously that's, that's very private. I wanted to stay that way, but I, I'm very, the mental health stuff is, is pretty interesting and I'm not surprised by his reactions and how, how disappointed he was by being left off. And he didn't, he didn't get into the 10 or 15 minute conversation he had with Greg, but Greg just basically said, you're not going to be on my roster. And uh, for someone who had been so pivotal, it, that must have been incredibly heartbreaking. And Charlie, I'll come to you first on, on the statements from Zach and, and then anything else you want to add? Well, I, I can say in the past, um, especially when we were playing, that did not exist. You, you were never turning down a call up and you were never even considering your mental health, no matter how depressed you were. Um, or, or, you know, if family members were having a, a, an I, issue, I, Charlie, I, I would say, I would say that Landon Donovan was the only one who kind of got to go on that journey during his career in the national team of like, but it cost him in out. It cost but him that for was, sure. That, but he was the only 2014, one. 2014 though. It, yeah, it ended up. Costing, like but, it, it was, but there was a, there was a long yeah. period that he was going through post like 2009. When I don't want to get into his personal life, but things were happening in his personal life. Yeah, but he also had an incredible Confederations Cup. And when we no, first but, found but I'm out, not, I'm not talking about performance necessarily. Okay. I'm talking about the fact that like there were times that he would maybe not be in the same day as other people or, you know, there like there was a few people within a team that had extraordinary circumstances at times within the national team that we as a group, like you go back to what you're saying about having a group that needs to buy in and trust and believe in somebody and say, like, if you if you treating everybody equally and whatever, there was a few people that you could have some workarounds on. Um but other than that, you never, never, never turned down. And Jimmy shared his one, one story of, 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 of uh, how that affected him turning down. Um, yeah, the opportunity it probably to be cost me. It, yeah, it probably cost me my potentially cost me. I don't want to say probably, but potentially cost me my chance to play in a second World Cup. So, yeah, I mean, and I, I didn't it wasn't phrased as mental health. I for, just to catch everybody up, you know, I had my first baby and it was a really tough year. She was a tough colicky baby so she'd cry a lot we weren't getting a lot of sleep and that put it, it put me in a situation i'd never been in before not only in my own life but with my marriage and how that impacted my performance on the field and that was starting to be noticeable that i wasn't as sharp as i had been before i picked it up at the end of the year but i was worn out emotionally and uh when bob called me bob bradley called me to come into the january camp i just Thought, assuming because he had he's a dad that he would understand where I was coming from and when I tried to explain it and I didn't even really know how to explain it I wasn't talking to a therapist which I should have been but I, I I wasn't so when I tried to verbalize this to the men's national team coach he's like what do you what you got you're, you're behind Parkhurst you're behind Bobby Boswell and Eddie Ra I'm like what are you dude dude I'm trying to tell you that I just need a break because I'm like I'm under it and he just goes into like who I'm competing against and that I'm going to miss this big opportunity. And I, I then eventually went in and I didn't play well to the surprise, even though I tried, I went in there trying, I didn't have a bad attitude. I just couldn't engage in the same way. And then when I didn't, I got left off the roster to play against Mexico. I'm like, I, I came in here for what? Like I, you didn't even take me anyway. And I just completely broke down and started crying and, and uh, not necessarily embarrassed by it, but I, I was in front of the whole staff and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't hold it in anymore. So I walked away and Bob followed me and we tried to like find a resolution. But at that point, I just like, I told you, I didn't want to come, man. I knew where I was. I don't, I don't just make up this stuff to make it up because I want off a of January camp. Like I work my ass off 
and I just want to make sure that I'm in a good space to make that happen. And everything I need everything in my life to be, I have to be at peace with what's happening at home for me to be mm -hmm. successful on the field. Like that, that's how it works. And I didn't have that peace. And so anyway, I, 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 I can relate to what Zach Steffen is talking about mm -hmm. and I don't necessarily need the details because I've lived it myself. Uh, I just, it's disappointing that, that, that maybe got used against him and, and not to think, say that like, it was, I, I don't want to speculate, but I'm just yeah, saying that, I, that I, it just feels really weird to me to go from mental health. I, I really need this. Right. And whatever the negotiation may have been in that point of like, uh, well, can I give you a couple of days? Can you come in a couple of days after, or you need you mm -hmm. in, or you're either in or you're out. And we know that I feel like I hope, the conversations uh, U.S. soccer has the resources to have uh, mental health uh, coaches and performance coaches to be able to have that conversation of like, you know, where are we at with this? What does this actually mean? Instead of it being like, you know, your soft type of thing. I think we hopefully U.S. soccer and, and most um, national teams or clubs with the resources have moved beyond that whole space. Um, but I'm just wondering what happened between September and November that somebody could have fallen so far from grace of being – the starter, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, sure mm -hmm. starter, to competing for the starting spot, to being the number two, to being four. Like that to me, some it's, something's missing in that conversation. Yeah, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. to me, that doesn't make I'm sense. Sure, Especially I'm if sure, he's heartbroken and devastated. I'm sure it'll, I'm sure it'll come out. <laughs> yeah. You just need another conference. Greg's just gotta have one more conference and we, we, we another private conference <laughs> and we'll get it. It'll come out at some point. I don't know. I, I feel like he didn't want to take two starting goalkeepers because he didn't want to make a tough decision. He just wanted to be Matt Turner, and then there was no competition. He's sticking with Matt Turner no matter what. Yeah, but don't you Matt feel Turner like a, in a worst-case scenario, know. though, you go to your other number one because that's a gift, uh, you know, to have that? Or, you know, is Zach Steffen um, not willing to be a number two? Uh, I don't, yeah, that's I, what – that's I'm the, that's the missing play piece the speculation that. game. I know, I know, I know. Like something to go from like, I needed time with my family. I was going through a lot. You know, he went from big city to big mistakes on the biggest stage. We saw like some of that stuff is unimaginable. The criticism he got for the goals he gave up at city uh, in the cups to then finding his club to needing some time with, with family and friends, whatever he was going through to then being like, well, now you're the fourth best in the U.S. After helping us get through qualifying from being our number Let's just one. Let's Zach on the show. Guy. Yeah. Let's we just get, get yeah, well, Zach that would on be, the show. That would be helpful. That would yeah. be helpful. We'll get, sure. we'll get Zach on the show.